What's up guys, it's Matt with Galaxy Games 843, back with another vending collection video. Today we're coming to you from the brewery location. And as you can see guys, there was a lot of stuff sold out. We actually waited one extra week before we were able to get to service the machine. Things were a little crazy with the schedule. And because of that, look how many things are sold out from this machine. This top row has like five or six things left in it. I mean, there's barely anything up there. So as you can see, we're gonna have to stock up so many things, Cheetos, Gardettos, Doritos, Lay's. The next row down, we got to stock up pretzels, Cheez-Its, all kinds of stuff, guys. So things are going really, really, really well at this location. Um, and I don't know if you saw when we walked in, but there was a big crowd of people inside and uh, there were some on the outside patio as well. I guess there was some sort of specialty vegan food truck that travels to the country all over the place and actually came to our location here, which uh, of course doesn't do anything good for our vending machine because people are eating the food from the food truck and not from our vending machine, but that's okay. As you know, whatever it takes to get people to this location because then now they're probably gonna come back more and then use our machine more. But as you can see, this machine is definitely not hurting for sales. So I'm totally fine with them having food trucks here, getting the word out that you know they're gonna make people come back to this location because it's working really well. And obviously we have a Nyax credit card reader on this uh, machine as well. I don't know if you saw on our community page, but we just got another Nyax VPOS Touch credit card reader for our upcoming machine for our barbershop location. Now we don't have the new machine yet. We did get a new machine, but probably not gonna work for the barbershop. So I'm working on getting a new, uh, a new combo machine finalized for the barbershop. Don't have it, the deal done yet. But when I do, you'll know about it, guys. Make sure you subscribe and follow us on our, on our community tab so you can see exactly what's going on behind the scenes because we're always posting little uh, bits of information there as to kind of what's going on behind the scenes. Sometimes we put it on Instagram, Instagram, but mainly just the community tab here on YouTube. All right, we're getting that top row stock just about all the way up. Uh, let's see here. I think I had just one or two of the Gardettos I needed, so I'm gonna have to manually change in the Nyax app the amount of inventory for that um, for that snack. And basically all you do is you go into the Nyax app, you select the snack that you are looking to change the inventory amount on, and you just use the little sliders to put it to exactly how many items of that particular snack or item are in the machine. So as you can see, I'm in my inventory list there. I'm gonna click on Gardettos, I'm gonna slide it over to eight instead of 10, and I'm just gonna save it. And what that does is that updates the amount of inventory in the machine. All right, next row, lots of things sold out here. Lots, there's two rows of pretzels sold out. I think the other one that we're missing in this row is the Cheez-Its. As you can see, the famous Amos chip, uh, chips, cookies are pretty well sold down. So we're gonna fill those back up. Like I said, lots of pretzels. This location kills it with pretzels. As you can imagine, it's a brewery. So people are looking for that kind of snack. Um, but. You know, other things do pretty well here too. As you can see, the whole top row was good. The Cheez-Its are good. But again, pretzels, obviously the best seller at this location. We do two rows of them and they are usually sold out when we come back to stock the machine up. Again, this time, this is this is probably one week extra than we should have. We usually, we, we're usually going here about every two weeks. I think this is a three week collection. So with that said, I was expecting even lower numbers because like, again, we had a schedule issue where we couldn't get back to this machine on the new on the normal day. So we pushed out the collection and service a week late. And luckily the machine wasn't sold out, but a lot of things were. So we could have had probably even more money had we got to this machine a little bit sooner and stocked everything back up. But there we go, we're stocking row number two. We've got the chip, uh, the chips. I keep saying chips, they're chocolate chips. The famous Amos chocolate chip cookies are stocked back up. The Cheez-Its are stocked back up. Pretzels are just about there, but notice the Pop-Tart bites didn't do so good this time. You know, it is what it is. All right, with that said, let's move on to the next row. So the next row is our, we'll call it the budget row. This is the Wise Chips. And as you can see, not a lot of sales from those. People are going after the more brand name stuff lately. So we do have some white charter popcorn we need to stock up, a couple original Wise Chips, maybe a couple barbecue and a couple of the cheese doodles, but no sour cream and onion sales. Now, who knows, maybe that's something we'll have to change out in the future. I know we pulled it from other locations as we tried different things. Um, but one one thing that does, the, these do usually do pretty well out is the barbershop, if I, if I recall correctly. So again, maybe some changes, I don't know, put it down in the comments if you think we should change some of those um, wise chips. As you can see, they didn't do as well this time compared to the, uh, the Lay's stuff or you know things like that. So put it down in the comments, guys, and let us know what your thoughts are. 
All right, while we're stocking up the wise row, I want to remind you guys it's time to subscribe to Galaxy Games 843. As you know, we're working to grow and we need your help to do so, guys. So if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button, click that bell notification so you get notified when our new videos and our live streams go live. While you're down there, make sure you give us a thumbs up to like the video. All that does is that helps YouTube recognize that people are liking the video and they'll, they'll actually share it and push it out to other new viewers as well. And that will definitely help our channel grow. So if you could do us a big favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button to like, and of course, share our videos too. All right, next row down, as you can see, the Animal Crackers and the Teddy Grahams did not really sell anything this time around. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Rice Krispie Treats did sell. We sold, we sold some packs of crackers. So we're going to get those stocked back up. And then we'll move down to the candy rows. Now, the candy rows are always hit and miss. Again, this is a brewery, so sometimes chocolate and things like that just don't go well with the beverages. Um, but you never know. You never know who's going to be here. A lot of families come to this location. And look how many things are sold to this row. Trail Mix is sold, which I expected that to do well. Um, the M&Ms are sold down. Looks like the Skittles are sold down. Lots of things are actually sold down in this row, and I wasn't expecting that many things to be sold. So I'm definitely excited with that. So we're going to get things stocked back up. We'll get those Skittles stocked up. We'll get the, um, the m and stocked up. Nutty Buddies didn't do too great. Um, as a matter of fact, Nutty Buddies don't seem to be doing great in any of my locations. I'm currently trying them out here, trying them out at the barbershop, and also the diesel garage. And all of them, honestly... They're not doing that great. So that might be something I change out in the future as well. I know that's something I tried. I had other things in those spots, but I might try some new stuff out in the future as well. All right. While we're getting that stocked up too, I do want to remind you, we do have a vending discord. Both myself and Extreme Vending here on YouTube share a vending discord. So if you're interested in participating in vending discussions with other vendors, other YouTubers, other new things, check out the link down in the description. That's right, you can go right down there, click on that link and join in the discussion. Again, we talk about vending, we talk about machines, we talk about inventory, we talk about products, we talk about all kinds of things. So if you wanna get involved in that vending conversation, if you're a vendor already, or if you're looking to start your own vending business, you can join us down in that description. Click that Discord link and you can join our conversation. All right, all I'm doing here is stocking things up and I'm gonna manually change some inventory numbers in the NIAX app once again. I'm Typically, sometimes if you, if you don't get your, your pre-kit counts right, you might have to do some editing on the actual spot to change your inventory levels. As, as you can see, I didn't have everything I needed. So sometimes, sometimes uh, you know, something falls and the machine doesn't count it as a sale, so you might be one short when you come to stock things up. And that's what all, all I'm doing. So I'm just manually changing the inventory. All right, bottom row, as you can see, Starburst didn't so sell so well. Uh, the Oreos did, you know, better than the previous item in that uh, spot was doing, which was the Nutter Butters. So we sold about four or five Oreos. Looks like two of the Starburst, a couple Crunch Bars, and of course we do those uh, Cliff Bars as well. And I really think one of the employees is one of the ones who really buys the majority of the Cliff Bars. They were the ones that requested it, and, you know, I'm, I'm thinking they might be buying a lot of them too. As, as you can see, this time around, <clears throat> not a lot of sales with the Cliff Bars but that's okay. All right, now it's time to check the coins and stock up the coin tubes. As you know, this machine gives a lot of quarters in change. And when that happens, our coin tubes are pretty low. So what I always do is I take whatever quarters are in the cash box and I fill that quarter tube back up. Someday I might have to get a newer coin Mac that has got the dual quarter tubes in it. But for now, we're going to continue to roll with this one as we upgrade other machines. So all I'm doing again, filling up that coin tube. After we get that completed, we're going to pour whatever's left into the into the money bag. We'll pull the cash for the collection and then we'll wrap the video up. So here we go. Getting a couple more filled in and the rest can go into the cash bag. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and pull the actual bills out. I'll put the total amount on the screen so you can see exactly how much we collected. But look at that fat stack, guys. Good fat stack, plus a bunch of credit card sales. So again, I'll put it here on the screen. All right, with that said, it's time to lock this machine up and wrap the video up, guys.
Hey guys, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're working our way to that next milestone and we need your help to get there. So if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button, click that bell notification so you get notified when our new videos and our live streams go live. And while you're down there, please give us a thumbs up to like the video and also make sure you share our videos with your friends. All right, guys, thanks so much for taking the time to watch our videos and thank you so much for your support. We really do appreciate you all. It is time to wrap this video up, guys. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.